Hello people out in YouTube land. Today I want to show you how you can use multiple controllers with Bitwig. The problem so far was that when you change a channel on one controller, it also changes on the second controller. So you could not say to one controller, use it independently. And that is a problem. If you want to use multiple controllers, you cannot select different channels to play different channels on the devices. As I found out, that's actually possible for quite some time, but I had to adjust some things in our, my Driven by Moss extension to support this. So what you need to do, we have here two controllers. So I want to play some stuff on the push and I want to use the Launchpad Pro by Novation to start some clips. And if I would normally start the clip or navigate here through the tracks to find more clips. Uh, also here, as you see, the the track changes then it's something we do not want to have we want to stay here on the pad we'd like to play so what you need to do is uh, you see there is this io tab here and in a studio or io panel there is also some stuff happening here for a loaded extension running scripts so you see i have here the push and i have the novation and if you both open them you will notice that this is something here saying the cursor track so that's actually the track that follows your current selection in Bitwig. And what you can do here is you can say, I want to pin that track. Then you can only change it via the tab and it does not change it in Bitwig. So the current track on the push does also not change. What that means is now, if I now do like this, you see here it will change in Bitwig, but it will not change on the push. But if I change it on push a channel, it will also change in Bitwig. But again, not on the Novation Launchpad. So now I can run the Launchpad independently of the currently selected track in Bitwig and also here on the push. So I can, yeah, I can start here some clips. and still play in Bitwig. And what I can do, I can also switch to another chair and also play that without affecting the launch pad. So that's it already for that video. And in another video, I will show you to crank that to the max and use lots of controllers for a live situation. Goodbye.